Hey guys, this is me again. Sorry if I seem out of breath. I just got back from the gym. But, um, I just wanted to do a walk around of my Evo 9. I did one when I first got it about seven months ago, back in March. Um, when I first got it, I said I had a few things I wanted to do to make it like my perfect, my dream Evo 9. I'm almost there. I just want to go over do another walk around of the car seven months into my ownership and just talk about some of the little things I've done to it to just make it you know my dream Evo 9 like I said from the beginning I always wanted a a 9 MR with the SC stuff like the SC appearance package the S, SC seats and you know some of the goodies this also has a uh, built 5 speed which is awesome so you can see it has the JDM headlights, which is another thing I'm obsessed about. This car, I mean, first of all, is like an immaculate shape. This car, I mean, I can't believe I was able to find one like this. And the headlights, everything about the car is just perfect. I maintain, I detail cars, and just like the paint on this car for being an 06 is wonderful. It's absolutely gorgeous. I washed it yesterday, and I've already driven the car a little bit. Ceramic coated, so, you know, it's... It's keeping up pretty well. The car is like 95% what I want it to be. It's almost, it's almost there. I've always said that I wanted to keep the exterior as stock as possible and just go for power and just have a clean stock looking Evo 9 MR in white. It has the couple things. So it has a JDM bumper, so you can see. And I recently added a, the Tomei Extreme Ti. This is the full titanium cap back. And I did add this car. The previous owner had it wingless, which is also tasteful. I do like wingless Evos, but in this case, I'm going for an OEM look. The only thing I did was I got an Evo 8 wing because it has the carbon sides, as you can see, which the Evo 9 wing does not. This has the carbon sides, which, you know, I think it just adds a nice little OEM plus touch, even though it's really just an OEM piece. These are actually Depot headlights, but to be honest, I'm totally fine with them. They look pretty much like the real thing. I'm not going to invest a grand into those. But, you know, on the exterior, to be honest, there's nothing really to talk about. It's just a stock-looking Evo 9 MR, which, like I said, I couldn't be happier. It's an immaculate shape. I'm in this car. It's unbelievable. I am obsessed with it. Everything about it is just perfect. The paint, the condition, absolutely beautiful. So another thing I'm obsessed about is the interior. I love clean interiors. I mean, going back to it again, even the trim, everything is fucking perfect on this car. I just, I'm obsessed. Um, it has the SC stuff, the SC appearance package. So it has the red stitched Recaro seats, which again, I'm obsessed about. They're in like almost immaculate shape as well. Let's open up the trunk, I mean the, the interior. So, you know, a little bit of wear, but overall, I mean, the condition of the seats is pretty much almost immaculate as well. They're, they're in really good shape. And then, um, previous owner wrapped the steering wheel with a red stitching, which matches the seats, which I think is very tasteful. Nothing crazy. I did get a race, it's called a racing, something like that, uh, weighted shift knob which is really nice. Feels really good. And then another thing this car has, which I'm obsessed about, is a black headliner, which matches the car, and I think it gives it a really nice look, which is like a nice upscale look on the interior. The only reason I've said this car is 95% to me, because there's a couple things I wanna do. 
The only thing in the interior that I don't like is... I think it has the Evo... You know how the Evo 9 has, like, the really nice glossy carbon fiber like this? So, the previous owner wrapped this like a matte carbon, which I'm not a fan of, as you can see. My, my theory is it's an Evo 8 trim piece, and he wrapped it matte carbon. So, I'm going to take this off and wrap it car glossy carbon um, so it matches, like, the stock-looking one. And I'll probably wrap this glossy carbon as well. I'm not sure yet. Um, as you can see, it does have the gauges, which I I like because I do I do monitor everything when I do pulls. So I want to make sure it's go it's running right. So, and about that, let's go over the engine. So the previous owner blew the motor about 10 years ago. He's had it for forever, pretty much since brand new. And um, he had a uh, a two liter motor built. It's a basic two liter with piston rods. It has Y scale pistons, um, I beam rods, and um, it's a very basic build. But it does have a built five speed from Jax, and it has a transfer case that's built from Jax as well. It does have a stock frame, just BBK B ball bearing, which is smaller than I would want it to be, but um, gets the job done. So. A couple things I've added to the vehicle. I did get, do, go the external wastegate route because I just love the external wastegate sound whenever you're going all out. Um, as far as numbers go, it made at 90 degree weather um, about 565 wheel horsepower and like 480 something foot pounds of torque. It, the car would hit 30 pounds and then drop off to like 28 29 it wouldn't hold 30 pounds for some reason um it has an 8 17 psi spring it's one of my theories plus the weather plus the turbo just might be out of it, its efficiency range it is what it is but to be honest the car feels way faster than 565 i've owned an evo 10 that made close to 600 this feels way faster it's probably because it spools I got, I got full boost around 4,000 rpm but um yeah it's a super fun setup my goal to finish this off um, I did go E85, that's how I made those numbers. I upgraded the fuel system. It has the FIC 1650cc injectors and a Wolbro 450. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get better, more, more spring in there to get around 27, 28 PSI spring. I'm going to, I did just get the Tomei and I'm gonna get a, a test pipe because this car has a huge ass resonator right there, which I know isn't is um you know, a little restrictive. Maybe that there's that's like 10, 15 horsepower at least. I think. So I'll go with a test pipe. <laughs> One thing I do hate about the car. And yes, hate is a horrible word for this, but I really do not like it. It does have a Quartermaster twin disc, which is annoying as hell. Low speeds, I've kind of mastered it, but it's just annoying and it, it doesn't make the best noises out there for keeping it stock looking. But I love how it sounds. It has a Tomei. Just do a couple clip here. Yeah, that's kind of the walk around. Like I said, it's 95% what I want it to be. I'm really happy with it. I've already had a bunch of people try to buy it off me, but I, I just can't let it go. I love this car. It's I don't think I'll find one like it. I'd have to spend so much money to replicate what I have. And it's like, in my opinion, the perfect Evo 9 MR. It's my dream, perfect Evo 9 MR. Um, 
It just needs a couple little things to make it perfect in my view. Um, like I said, the interior, glossy carbon trim panels, a little bit of um, modifications power-wise to make around 600, and then I'll be done with it and enjoy it forever. Yeah, thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, let me know. I appreciate it.